in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can use an integrator block within the simulator for it we need to go to the simulating library browser and here we will write constant this constant will act as our input to be fed into the integrator block after adding the constant to the model we need to write so the integrator so right click on this integrated block and add block to model untitled then also for to observe the results we need a scope so also write click on scope and add it to the model now we have three of our components okay okay wait okay now you need to connect all these three components also we need to double click on this scope we will go to its properties and we will increase the number of axes to two okay also add this one to the input like this okay what this integrator will do integrator is actually a summer but an in integration the quantity to be integrated is always is always having its relationship with the time variable like with the passage of time the integrator block will add the input like here you can see that just one is flowing to the integrator but like when first second will pass or first time limit will pass one will be inside this integrator block but when time enters into the next interval again it will get this one so integrator will take the inputs and add them or integrate them with respect to time although simple some block cannot do that because simple block is not going to do any sort of operation along with the real time axis so it it will it will go above and above like 3 4 5 6 with the passage of time it will going to increase okay now we will run it now you can see that the first input which is going as it is to the scope is the lower one and this one that is like this is our simulation is running for 10 seconds so here you can see that our graph starts from zero and is going linearly and smoothly towards 10 although the input is same because the input is one and input is same but still with the passage of time integrator used to take this one one and add them so here it touched down to the value of 10 and then simulation stops so hopefully you got this simple concept so thanks for watching